Overnight, the rescues began. The Puerto Rican National Guard started pulling people out in the community of Levittown. This man waded through waist-deep water. Behind him, a little boy on the back of a National Guardsman. The governor was waiting for them as they were pulled to safety. As Maria moves away from Puerto Rico, the destruction is starting to come into focus. Down trees and power lines are making roads impassable. Windows have been blown out of buildings and appliances ripped from walls. On the island of Dominica, the storm killed at least seven people and left a path of destruction. The U.S. Virgin Island of St. Croix was also hit hard. Some homes so badly damaged they were stripped down to their foundation. Ashley and Mark from Ohio were on vacation in Puerto Rico celebrating their 10-year anniversary when Maria hit. During the storm, they stayed in the hotel's parking garage. We get snowstorms and stuff in Ohio, but nothing that where you literally hear death, like right there. Now they are stranded here. I'm still scared just because we don't know how bad it is out there and how we're going to get home. There's a dusk to dawn curfew here on the island, so people are just now getting out, milling about. And really, we've noticed a lot of people coming to this Starbucks because this is the only way that a lot of people have to reach their relatives off the island, let's say on the mainland, to let them know that they're okay. Wi-Fi connection is one of the only lifelines people here have right now. David Begno, CBS News, San Juan, Puerto Rico.